The angel and demon's day started pretty normally. They woke up. Well, almost. They looked after their houseplants. Did some art, to each their own, and they just lazed around, of course. But then, they got an unexpected update from management. Turns out their performance has been terrible lately. Did they get fired? No, they're getting a last chance. A day to fix everything. Chris can't sleep because there's something supernatural going on. Her new angel and demon are starting work for the day. But Chris doesn't need to know. You're dreaming, Chris. Keep sleeping. Meet Chris. She's Crowley and Gabriel's new ward. She seems hungry. The selection isn't great. Gabriel makes a move. And Crowley keeps up. Have milk at night, it's healthier. But he has weird taste. Chris is having technical difficulties. Crowley noticed that the milk is expired. That's funny. But the angel ruined everything again. Chris is rushing to get ready. She doesn't want to be late for class. And she needs to check the weather. Ooh, it's gonna be cold today. The evil demon gets to work. He's stealing all of Chris's warm clothes. Now that's evil. Crowley will rob her blind. And Gabriel is too lazy to really care about what's going on. Chris finds her hat and loses it immediately. This is demonic. Where's my hat? The angel is tired of these games. It's time for a real miracle. One little move, and it's over. It's hot. Looks like the weather had a mood swing. It's unseasonably hot today. We're tied, Crowley. Oh man, she missed the bus. She'll have to walk. Gabriel already helped out by creating the best route for her. But Crowley decided to confuse Chris a little and make her go the wrong way. But Chris didn't fall for it. Great job! The lecture has already started. Looks like one of the students left the room. Crowley wants to pull a prank. He'll set Chris up. This is going to be fun. Ouch, that's not nice. Gabriel takes the thumbtacks away and puts them back. Looks like the prank backfired. Lee noticed Chris's sharp sense of humor. But a pop quiz ruins everything. Chris is nervous, but Lee is way more confident. Don't worry, Chris, you have invisible support. If Lee's so confident, that must mean he has all the right answers. Let's work another miracle. Mix up the tests, and it's in the bag. The professor is finishing checking the tests. One student failed. and this student got a perfect score. The angel messed everything up again because he helped Lee ace the test. This is a fiasco. Chris seems upset. It's okay, she'll get over it during lunch. Bon appetit, Chris. 
like Lee likes her, but he seems shy. Chris's guardian angel wants to help. Be confident, you just need a little push. But Crowley wants to ruin everything. That's so sneaky. But the situation isn't ruined yet. After class, it's nice to relax a little. Crowley is so rude. Oh, Gabriel noticed someone. It's that kid from Chris's class. Lee is nervous, and he doesn't know how to approach Chris. But the confident angel wants to save the day. Wait here, Lee. Let the forces of good handle it. Try giving her flowers. Well done, Gabe. So what do we have here? Allergies? You should have read her profile first. Even Crowley seems disappointed. Once Chris gets over her allergy attack, she goes shopping. She needs to get a new notebook and pen today. Seems easy. Got the pen. But these two are going to mix things up again. Target spotted. This angel is just as bad as the demon. Heavy basket. Well, yeah, your faithful companions are in the basket too. They decided to get in with Chris's purchases. Unfortunately, Chris can't see the whole picture. Gabriel clearly cares about making sure Chris's house is fully stocked. But Crowley disagrees. The angel won't give up. Neither will the demon. They deserve each other. Chris finally finished shopping. She didn't get anything she didn't need. She stuck to the list. Now all she has to do is pay. And the mission is accomplished. Chris is taking her driving test today. It's an important moment. Her angel and demon are always with her. Gabriel gives Chris some confidence. Maybe a little too much. Off to a rough start. The instructor is shocked. Hey, at least Gabriel's having fun. Crowley decides to calm down our local NASCAR driver. Break! Chris's mentors clearly have very different ideas about what it means to be a good driver. It's hard to drive a car when you've been flying around your whole life. This isn't a test. It's a race! The instructor can't even see where to put the check marks. He's shocked by Chris's results and runs away. But believe it or not, Chris passed the test. After a hard test, it's great to unwind by watching a soap opera. But it looks like the angel can't stand too much sentiment. So he turns the drama into a horror movie. Gabriel loves thrillers. Time to learn how to skate. The guardian angel is a little busy. Crowley, we need your help. One trick and Chris is in Lee's arms. Wow, sparks are finally flying. Lee asked Chris out on a date. She's about to do her makeup. But her little helpers are here too. Crowley has specific beauty standards and Gabriel has different tastes. This makeup is weird. But Chris likes it. Great work, team. <laughs> Lee is waiting at the restaurant already. Here's Chris. What a gentleman. They're chatting, and the waiter shows up. Chris is about to order. Crowley chooses the most expensive dish. It's hard to resist temptation. The waiter is ready to take the order. Gabriel senses that Chris is hungry. And since he's such a caring guardian, he'll help her with her order. The food is ready. There's so much. So, so much. Lee wasn't expecting this. But Gabe is happy with the results. He's hungry as the devil. Dinner's over. Keep up the good work, Chris. Check, please. Lee is disheartened by this ending to the date. Someone's going to have to wash dishes to pay for dinner. 
Hey, Crowley! Do you want to help out? Getting help from a demon is unexpected. This looks like a happy ending! But not for our guardians. The angel and demon both got fired. It's time to say goodbye. But suddenly... No way! They got fired and then rehired! To each other's jobs? Turns out their bosses made a mistake. These roles suit them way better. Who did you like more? The angel or the demon? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a new video.